Okay, so for Amazing Grace, um, it's all arpeggios, and arpeggio is, um, like, in a scale when you have bum 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 bum, that's an arpeggio. So, um, the, the strum, the, the picking pattern, it's called arpeggiated, fun fact, now you know. Uh, so for Amazing Grace, it starts on a D. And the pattern sounds like this. Okay, so um, so it starts on and it, the, the strings there one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so the little string is six. Um, so it starts on three goes to five, four, six, and then you put your pinky down, still six, and then back to five, and then four. So I usually use three, these three fingers for picking. A lot of time my fourth finger ends up resting on the guitar. Um, or my pinky ends up resting there. Um, somehow for me it's helpful to have a finger resting there just so that my hand knows where it is in the guitar because otherwise it moves around and then I get confused. Um, so here's that first pattern again. So when you put your pinky down for the... You don't actually have to do... So it's not, you don't have to hit it again. You don't have to hit that string. You can just, so. All right, the next thing you do is you leave your fourth finger there and you pick up these two fingers. You move your middle finger to the second string and the third fret. Sorry, leave your pinky there too. So it's a very similar pattern to this. So now it's two five, four, six, five, four, five, two, five, four, six, five, four, five. Then you pick up your middle finger and put your pinky finger, your pointer finger, sorry, down right next to it and the second string and the second fret. Same exact pattern. Move it down one fret. So this time the pattern is just, and then you put your th third finger back down again. Some people like to play that differently. So some people um, like to um, keep going down. So they'll. They'll just lift up their finger and play the open string. Um, I personally like to go back up again, but that's just the way that I was taught. So there's two different ways to play it. Um, so up until there, we ha I'll just start from the beginning so you can hear that part. Um, or the second version. Oops. Sorry, that was the first version again. I'm not used to teaching this, guys. Okay, the second version. 
this is the one that I never do and so I have to like concentrate super hard and I'm going really slow and so I'm like hitting the wrong strings because I'm going so slow. Okay, let me try again. Open string. Okay, so that's the pattern. And from there, it literally just starts over again. Um, and goes right back into this. Just over and over and over again. Okay, so you just keep trying it again and again, faster and faster and faster. So you start with the D, and then you leave your fourth and your pinky finger where they are, put down your middle finger, second string, third fret, and then you just next fret down, one more fret. So you can do it so it's just literally going down one fret, a t fret at a time. And one more fret. So, yeah. Um, or, yeah. So a lot of it is learning how to stretch your pointer finger so that it gets all the way over there. Um, so when you put the whole thing together, you have Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound Seemed to rush like me Start over Once was lost, but now Was blind, but now I see to end it like that I just so you put down your pinky finger pick pick it back up again and then pick up your middle finger yeah anyways cool beans there you go amazing grace have fun <laughs>